Okay, 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 and Vampire Survivors goes on to the second half of Operation Guns with Sheena Etors, Et Ronzi, that's certainly a name. She'll be heading over to Hectic Highway, as will the rest of the characters in the pack. Let's see what her weapon looks like. Okay, it's a bow and it has a giant flaming axe. Any arcana that goes with it? Hmm, not looking like it. I don't remember seeing anything. Mad Groove, how do you do? Nothing there. Is the scrolling really necessary? Hmm. Well, the beginning it goes. What the heck? Oh, it's like cross kind of. Hey, firearm right away. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Where's my cursor? There you are. One more projectile from firearm. We got a lot of rerolls on this map. Oh, well, let's get rid of some water. Okay, it looks like they explode on the back end. Blade crossbow base damage up. Well, I only get one weapon power up, so we can't get anything else that I know of all off of it. So that leaves a lot of good things. I can't get home. Well, I can get plenty of stuff, but. Okay, what could it possibly be? Spellbinder makes sense. Tornus box doesn't. I'm gonna grab it anyway. Sonic Bloom. Spellbinder? Possible. Effect lasts one point one second longer, base speed up twenty-five percent. Yeah, maybe Spellbinder is the right call here. There's one more projectile. Could be a little down reduced by another 0.1 second. And let's see. It's Seal Laser that buffs up with the old Empty Tome. On the other hand, I only have a few slots, so I can't waste it. Base area up by one, passes through one more enemy. Sonic Bloom is one that really, really could be interesting as a base weapon compared to its evolution with how it works. Yeah, shoot, 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 get up out of here, get up out of here. Yeah, weapons here really lack a lot of raw pierce, which is dangerous in Vampire Survivors. Last longer, and cool down up again. No armadillos. Well, that increases more for right now. And I don't need raw damage just yet. Hmm. Actually, gonna be very tricky, isn't it? Oh, dang, I forgot to read her description again. It was something strange. There's one more projectile, cooldown reduced again. That's a really weird projectile for a bow to have. It's like a spinning disc. Doesn't even show up on the model like that. Short gun, not gonna get bracer. So short gun it is. Man, oh man, it means I can't evolve basically anything, huh? So barely see the short gun projectile. So, I gotta hope that the evolution for the Sonic Bow or Flash Bow is ridiculously good. Because it's gonna be the only thing I could get away with. I wanna just check what the evolution is instead of risking it. I was able to get away with it on Neo Galga just because there were so many options. Also, I actually have to hit the dang chest. That would be helpful. Do I have it maxed out? I have it maxed out. 
And there's only so many options left it could be anyway. Oh, the pulse is getting through the entire screen now. Sometimes. Sometimes it isn't. Oh well. Uh, fire arm up. Sheer number of exploding burials really helps, would be really helpful for a heart of fire and uh, eventual fire wave for firearm upgrade. I'm never going to be able to remember what the actual name for that is. Flare, alas. Yeah, man. Ew, cool down up, go, 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 go. Blow them all up. Alright, Sonic. Or Flash Bow? Why do I want to say Flash Bow? Because Flash Arrow, that's why. The Reflex Bow, Hurt Bow. Seems pretty okay. It actually seems to have a lot of Pierce, which is very helpful, considering. Oh, did I pass it again? No, the patch that fixes this hasn't been done to Xbox yet. It's in fact, has it been even posted anywhere else? Might just be on beta right now. Well, I suppose I'll see by the time I get back to that one. I don't want C laser, because... Well... Hmm... Um, do want the empty tome. Eh. Well, I'll sell out. I'll look at what the evolution is. Because this map is too risky, and I don't want to keep losing things. Wait, I already have it, don't I? Da -da -da. Blade crossbow. Clover. That makes no sense whatsoever to me. But okay, it's Clover. Sure wish that would show up then. It doesn't get the benefit of Slash, so can't crit. Well, maybe it is critting and I'm just not seeing it. It's always a likely possibility. Well, stick up to the top lane at least. Maybe that's where the chest is. It's really hard to tell though. The way the map is set up. No candle operator. Work. Why do you keep giving me passes that I really shouldn't be using? Huh. Yeah, the blade bow is really really good for a base weapon here because of that pierce it has yeah look at that go i know it's less difficult than neo galaga but still that's a lot better of a setup and it was it behind me or was it in front of me and i just missed it again shortgun it is Yeah, there's an issue with this stage right now. I don't know if it's patched or not about it not looping as fast as it should. There's my clover. And spinach. I don't want a great empty tome until I evolve. If I can even evolve it. Will I be able to evolve anything? Ah, that's a difficulty with the thing here. At least I have big fuzzy fists for metal claw already. The other ones are going to be a bit troublesome. Actually, no. Newt Pliskin is the only other one that I haven't already evolved. This in the Blade Bow and whatever Simondo Belmont has. If anything. Who knows? Maybe it's the one character without a single power up. Oh god, how would that even work? Pacifism run. But that's for Gallo. Oh, Gallo. You are ridiculously overpowered. At least it's a good run for the base weapons. You can want to aim it for the evolutions usually, so it's nice to try it out elsewhere. I actually get the clover, more slots. Should I try and speed up? Also, the sheer number of destructible barriers is crazy. Oh, hey, that was the Arcana boss I was taking out. Freezing enemies. Hmm. would only buff the sword and the time warp. This would buff nothing I have. 
Which gun is that? Well, that's one of the guns I have. Yeah, it's the Sonic Boom gun. Okay. Much better now. They need Spellbinder for anything? No. I wonder what the evolution chest is. Is it from the start here? That would make a lot of sense considering how chests would be so rare. Oh, empty tome. Why? Why do you continue to taunt me with your existence? Boss, get in line with it. Oh, I missed it. Are you kidding me? Back, come back, chest. I need you. Oh boy. Seriously, I was even aiming for it in everything, and I still didn't manage to grab it. That's crazy. That's crazy, isn't it? I might not be able to evolve it. We got 13 more minutes to go. It might loop once or twice. It's risky. Yeah, I got missiles already evolved. I got this is the seventh. No, this is the eighth character. Really? Eighth of twelve. Uh, Stanley's missiles. New Pliskins has his own gun. Colonel Bahamut has the iron metal fist, and then Samando. Actually, I was just looking at the menu. He doesn't have a weapon there, so it must be something else. At least I don't think it was. Hmm. Well, that's a mystery for the ages, eh? Or, well, a mystery for a couple of days. Wait. What's his unlock thing? I haven't actually gotten it yet. Well, we'll see. We will see indeed, huh? Short gun. They're gonna take you out. Oh wait, huh? Hey, spin edge, nice. Nice damage is gonna help. Still no gun, eh? Can't get long gun. It'll take away my power up, which I need for the blade bow. Boss, just, just give me the chest with no fuss. Yes, good. All right, BCF 2080, evolved blade cross with close for divine innovation with a luck-based frequency. Okay, what the? Oh my God, it's cross from Castlevania just with a shuriken instead. Oh, that's ridiculous. Holy crap! All right, empty tome, you can return at any time now. And I can grab whatever I want. Yeah, that's a crazy. It's actually pretty fast, too. Well, she has 30% cooldown. Is that stage-based, or is that an 8? Oh, it even changes the blade. It's thrown out, too. They last longer. Yeah, Spellbinder, excellent. Candle Arbador. Ooh, there's see you Laser. Well, I can't evolve anything, so it doesn't matter. So, no need to get Bracer. No need to get that, either. Can I to work? Good. Empty Tome, excellent. Spellbinder, yep. That's everything. That's all my levels stored up for a while, huh? Wow, oh, well, so many. I max out? Went away from maxing out off that. And I did max out. All right, yeah, look at them big blades. Oh man, that's gonna be excellent with Boogaloo, right? I wonder if nothing else evolves from it. Good thing I picked up the beginning. Yeah, that's... Yeah, probably as a base weapon goes, the blade crossbow's the best one, and its evolution looks pretty dang strong, too. Oh wait, no, I had the minus 40 cooldown, because I was probably on the fire power-up, huh? Yeah, this comes out fast. 
Uh, damage doesn't seem to be too high, though. That's an unfortunate side effect. Alright, let's see how well I can do by sitting still. Uh-oh. Doesn't look to be doing too well. Oh, good, it was recording, jeez. This is pretty dang strong. Wow, it's actually causing lag. That's crazy. Seriously, wasn't expecting it to lag out like that. That's a madness. But yeah, she's definitely seeing me. That look definitely seems like a standout weapon right now. I missed the chest. Uh, my mind just giant blank. Oh, let's charge on through to the other side. Charge on through to the other side. Oh, grenaded. Man, Boogaloo is going to be an excellent pickup for her, huh? Or this weapon, huh? Not sure if it increases the size of the shuriken cross, though. Or, well, I guess maybe I should call it the cross crash. Well, Alucard used it as the base cross, but we third didn't. I guess they want players to use it as something other than the cross for once, because the cross in Castlevania by default is so ridiculously strong. Man, Symphony of Night is such a good game. No, oh, I know. I can get Boogaloo now and see if that increases it. Or changes how the size of it runs. Wow, they're really pushed back. Huh. Yeah, I think... Wow, she's actually at 40k. I'm not sure that the size is going up, even when it goes up otherwise. Oh, it's, is that gold, or is it just being hit by so much stuff that looks gold? Yep. Er, who shift? No, get back here, chest. I can beat it. I can get there. Come on. gotten so laggy I can almost go back. Look at how slow the background is scrolling. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to happen. Hectic highway? More like slow relaxing highway. More like a nice calm and nature trail. The sun high in the sky, the birds are chirping, and the gators are resting. Oh, hey, enemies. Will you get in? This is a bit of an odd stage for its enemy spawns. These are, well, you know, kind of a... Whoa, whoa. I only get one by two. Maybe I should back up? Or should I go forward? I mean, whichever way I go is going to be safer just because of the sea laser and the back end. Can't stay still. So I will have to push onwards. Oh man, they just keep sneaking in through other stuff. Oh, good thing it's not going to last that long. Okay, I only have two revives. I mean, well, no, no, this is going to come out of the back end too, isn't it? Well, it should be weaker then. Because it'll have other things spawning in that aren't as strangely threatening. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. 
more. Yeah, nothing else. I wasn't expecting to get this much of Boogaloo. Oh, hey, you're back. Well, no, you're sharing skies with the sky shooter dudes. Instead of the weird looking tanks that even the Ars Guda calls a terrible design. But very little the Ars Guda doesn't call a terrible design or something like that. Huh. Almost to 15 minutes. And it's not that far off. I'm actually going to end up with more kills than a lot of the other characters has been. Surprising. You know, I probably should have checked what her actual innate character trait did. That would have been helpful. Oh, that destroyed him good, huh? Uh, let's see. Yeah, the dragons are less threatening just because there's fewer of them showing up on the screen. The walking tank things are actually surprisingly compact for their size because of how their model is set. The dragons are gigantic, so there's fewer of them on screen, which means they take more punishment. Which means fewer of them go on. Yeah, blade crossbow's really good. I think it's the strongest of the base weapons. I don't really... well... Hmm. Oh, giant robot boss. Get a chest that will maybe give me a... Dang it, hoping for a candy box to get a gun or something. I need more guns. And let's see, Clover. Clover is bad, so... That's generally not wanted. It doesn't have any Arcana synergies other than beginning. So... Man, look at it go. Okay, so the CU laser beam does get bigger with more area, it just takes a lot of it. Probably a good weapon for Jetta if you're going for double area or something like that. Or Mina if you want to be absurd. No, then again, CU laser's evolution is by far one of the strongest. The proton beam. No, Pronto beam. Pronto beam. Very close, but totally different. Uh oh. They're big, but they're kind of frail, honestly. Yeah, look how big the Sonic Bloom is tearing them up. Not bad, not bad at all. Now you can barely see her own weapon in this mess. Man, I guess my sheer terrible luck in the old Galaga once again caused issues. This is definitely showing off a much better side to Sonic Bloom than that brownie did. Unfortunate. Man, she's just wrecking the house. I really was not expecting this many levels here without crown or track to work, but I mean I guess it does start dropping red gems really early on this map. These enemies. Oh, I took damage. Oh man. Well, I suppose it's always hard to see in vampire survivors, but this is especially bad. Oh, there's Taka. When's Boo Saga coming out? I say, like the absolute jerk I am. Oh wow, they're getting in. Well, what do you mean they're not doing Boo Saga? That's no one's favorite saga. Oh man, I, I died. That's, that's not good. Okay, stay within my buzz saws. Those will protect me, I hope. Okay, I got one more revive for a minute 13. Ooh, an Aura Logan. Excellent. Oh, hey, another chest. 
Oh, grenade, nice. Or bad. Possibly. Hard to tell sometimes. Possibly bad, since it means more things. Oh, man. This is a lot dicier than I was expecting it, too, especially considering how powerful it's going off. That's what happens when you only have one evolved weapon, really. You know? You know? Okay, closing in. 40 seconds. Only 10.50. Their kills haven't actually slowed down all that bad, because there's nothing but boss at this point. Yep, just keep staying in the blade bow stuff. Blade bow, blade bow, this isn't Bloodborne, these are giant robots. They're not horrors from beyond imagination in the stars. Well, I guess they are technically horrors from the imagination. Hey, oh, oh no. Not quite to 90k, but over 80k is pretty solid on a stage that's, you know, 10 minutes lower than the one I've been playing. So yeah, Sheena, pretty strong. Also her name is Sheena, not Lucia. Not even sure if I said that. Unlock the blade crossbow. And yet it's Prism Last that seems to have done the most of all things. Uh, crossbow did 65k. Wow. It was up longer and it had more DPS. Maybe. Wow. Is Prism Last actually better than the Evolution? Well, I guess we'll see not actually next time because... We've already done Pro Protector. Now it'll be Stanley's turn. Might increases armor, can find special pickups. Move speed decreases cooldown. Ah, that's why her cooldown was so high. It's Hectic Highway. Increases your movement speed by 60. No, oh, Neil Gallagher does it. That was on Hyper, right? Yeah. Okay, so no, she would have had higher cooldown on all these other stages. Uh, ironically, that means Hyper would be easier than her, wouldn't it? Then she gets it. Bonus in. Well, either way. Stanley's next. He gets Might Increase Armor. And already has a weapon we've seen. So who knows what will evolve. And with that, Sheena has brought us up to 241. There absolutely is a Lucia character, and I am going to continue to confuse those internally. Well, either way, next up's going to be Stanley over on Hectic Highway himself. And it's going to be a lot of missiles. Thanks for watching this far, and thank you for any likes, dislikes, comments, or subscriptions you have given me. I would appreciate it if you did any more, and either way, have a good day, keep messing around, and Vampire Survivors being every stage with every character challenge will continue tomorrow.